from New York City with Bill Weir. Kobe Bryant did it. A-Rod did it. Even Pope John Paul II did it. It is a controversial new therapy that some are calling the end of pain, a treatment that's still untested in the United States. It uses patients' own blood to cure everything from bad knees to tennis elbow. Some of the world's best athletes are using it to stay in the game, but what about the rest of us? Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. A lot of dribbles for no This latest NBA final, the Heat versus the Thunder, has been dramatic. Exciting, but most of all, physical. At the highest level of sports, injuries can end a once promising career in an instant, something NBA player Tracy McGrady knows all too well. He was one of the best basketball players in the world. McGrady fires for two. A scoring machine, a perennial all-star, one of the greats, until a devastating injury. And when he came back from two operations, he was a shadow of the player he had been. It was tough to deal with because in one minute you playing so well, you know, on the top of the game, and the next minute it's like, you know, you're not even valuable no more. Like, wh where do I go from here? Where he went was to Germany. To this man, Dr. Peter Wieland, was developed a controversial new treatment called Reginekine that he says can virtually eliminate back and knee pain. Relatively inexpensive, practically unknown in America, and unapproved by the FDA. Tracy McGrady is just one of a number of pro athletes who have undergone Reginekine treatment. Golfer Fred Couples had it after crippling back pain almost forced him to retire. I really, three months ago, thought, you know, this year I might not even play any golf. Baseball's Alex Rodriguez had it in December to treat a nagging knee and shoulder injury. Today, A-Rod says he feels great. And Kobe Bryant says it did wonders for his damaged knee. Now, I think elite athletes push us. Elite athletes are leaders. They're pioneers. Uh, frankly, they have the desire and means to seek out novel treatments. Of course, it isn't just pro athletes who are hobbled by bad knees or aching backs. An estimated 26 million Americans live with the agony of chronic back pain and millions more with crippling osteoarthritis and knee injuries. Okay. I'm one of them. This winter, my back pain had gotten so bad, I couldn't stand or walk more than 10 minutes. So I went to Dusseldorf, Germany at the end of January to be treated by Dr. Wieland. McGrady had the treatment on his bad knee in the summer of 2010. After the seventh day, yes, I could tell the difference in my knee. What did it feel? Stronger? It felt better? Well, not only did it feel stronger, but less pain. And sure enough, I felt better before I left. And did it get better and better? Better and better, gooder and gooder, if that's a word. <laughs> you know, since the time I hurt my knee, uh -huh. it was the best I've, I've ever felt. Keep that clock, we'll read that. McGrady played this season with the Atlanta Hawks, pain-free. The key ingredient in the treatment, the patient's own blood. It's a combination of proteins that attack in a very specific way inflammation, pain, and destruction of tissue. Very simplified. The blood is put into a machine that extracts from it the body's natural anti-inflammatory proteins called interleukin-1 receptor antagonists, or IL-1-RA. Those proteins, which essentially block the inflammation receptors, are then re-injected where it hurts. No inflammation, no pain. Dr. Wieling says Regenekine is effective for two to four years, sometimes much longer. The cost of the treatment starts at about $5,000 and goes up from there. Everything okay, Ron? Everything's good. That was almost five months ago, and so far, I'm still feeling good. But Regenekine is not without controversy. Some American orthopedic surgeons think more research needs to be done on its effects and possible side effects. Dr. Rick Delamarter is spinal surgeon and vice chair of surgery at Cedars sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Uh, I do want to see more long-term information. Uh, does this have effects five, ten years down the line? Uh, how successful is it? How long does it last? Uh, not only what I want to see, but the FDA is going to require these type of things. The FDA would not comment, but even without FDA approval, there are now a handful of American doctors using Reginekine off-label, which is legal. Whatever the FDA's ultimate decision, and that could take years, Tracy McGrady says Reginekine kept him on the court and flying high. Had I not 
you know, you find that procedure, there's no way I would have continued to play in the NBA. For Mike Line, I'm Ron Claiborne in Los Angeles.